Still chasing down Prometheus, a.k.a. Adrian Chase. And we still have Ollie outside of the hood because we still have a broken arrow. Welcome to the heart of the stories we tell. My name is Rob, and tonight I will be reviewing Dangerous Liaisons, episode 19 of season 5 of Arrow. And oh boy, is it a big secret identity episode with Mayor Queen in the sights as much as the Arrow. It's also a great Helix episode where we finally find out a lot more about it. But you know what it really is? It's a continuation of a theme that we've been facing all year. Well, all season. Seasons don't really last a year anymore. And that theme is, how far are you willing to go? And how far are you willing to let others go? And is it okay for you to break a rule if someone else isn't allowed to break the rule? And who's really the bad guy when someone pushes those rules? But we'll get into specifics once we throw this up here. So once again, it's stop. Spoiler time. Bah, da, na, na. So just to recap, when Vigilante shoots people, it's bad. When Wild Dog shoots people, it's A-OK. -okay. And of course, when Oliver does something illegal, that's fine. But if the Bratva do something illegal, whoa, seriously, what are they doing? Those must be the bad guys. And that's the hypocrisy that's come from the entire season, where we have Wild Dog and Spartan shooting people up. Now we even have Ollie, because he's not wearing the hood. And of course, this little lady actually said it pretty good. How far is too far? And how do we know that we can trust you, little Mr. Serial Killer? Now, the team itself is pretty cool, and I don't think that anyone on the team is actually a serial killer. I do think that the team is pushing it this year, especially Felicity. And this whole Helix story is definitely her going too far out there. And so tonight we also get the moment where Mr. Terrific is playing the role of Overwatch. The reason why? Because when you really think about it, Terrific is a potential replacement for her, and they want to tease that out. We also have the Renee story going on a little farther with the whole do you get your child back. And, of course, the Prometheus hunt takes up the lion's share of the A story. But the theme is still, has Ollie failed the city? Did Ollie really become a hero, or is he just a vigilante? And at the end of the day, if he's breaking the rules and lying to his allies... Is it really that much better than what Chase was doing? Of course, I'm pretty sure the Al Ghul family would say that he's much worse since he killed their patriarch. And I'm pretty sure that Mr. Terrific has his own sense of what's right and wrong, and thinks that they should be playing much closer to the rule set than they are. And who's right? Hmm, I don't know. Way above my pay grade. All I know is that this entire season has built up to this question. How far is too far? And it's Argus versus Helix this time. And let's be honest, Argus isn't exactly a white hat organization. Argus has done some pretty craptastic things. And holding someone without charges, that's pretty up there. But then there's Helix. Is Helix any more than a terrorist organization? At the end of the day, is there a right choice in this? It reminds me of another story. This quote gets thrown around a lot, even in modern politics. And you know what drives me nuts about it? It's only right if you're in the right. It's only good if you trust the person implicitly, because at the end of the day, if you don't trust that Captain America is right, then he's just being stubborn. If you don't trust that Oliver's the right person to make the decision, then he's just being stubborn. And if you don't trust Argus, and you don't trust Helix, and you don't trust Felicity, then the question becomes, who can you trust? Who can live up to this ideal, make this type of decision? Have they failed the city? Or should I say, has Felicity. Because at the end of the day, that's what this was. The Felicity episode where she's pushed it too far. Of course, the fact that Delilah was pushing it too far, too, doesn't even begin to cover it. She doesn't even tell them that she's got the trap set at the wrong place. And it really comes down to that Captain America quote again, if you think about it. Both of them are saying, this is the, my line, and no matter how much you or anyone else tell me how wrong I am, I know I'm right, and that's all that matters, that I know. And of course, that's the problem in every comic book where Batman goes after a vigilante by saying, hey, you're not playing by the rules, or every time the Green Arrow says, hey, wait a minute, this vigilante's went too far, but this one didn't. Because at the end of the day, how do you decide how far is too far? How do you know when you're the one that has gone too far? You don't. You need to just trust that the people around you, that your team can actually question you, can actually say, hey, wait, we need to stop you because you've gone over the edge. 
And that's what it means to have friends, too. Even, like, you know, outside the superhero thing. One of the big things that Mark Twain once said was that it is the prevalence of friends to have your back when you're wrong. Anyone will anyone will stand with you when you're right. Something along those lines. If you have friends that can tell you, hey, wait, you're being an asshole. Like, when you refuse to go see your own daughter because you're afraid that you might not be good enough for her, or going on a killing spree, or you're working with hackers, they, okay, maybe it breaks down a bit there. Now, while the A plot was heavy, the B plot was very heartwarming. The whole idea of Wild Dog having to accept that he is good enough for his daughter, and the fact that Lance has to be the one to explain it to him, based on the fact that, like Lance says right in the episode, I'd kill, I'd give anything to have my daughter back. Which again fits tonight's theme of friends calling friends out on their bullshit. And that was, like I said, heartwarming. What did you think? Did you think that the A plot or the B plot was more complex, more emotional? The idea of who do you trust or the idea of can you help me get my daughter back? Now, of course, all of this Helix vs. Argus stuff, as complex and as important to the overall theme of the season as it is, is really just cover right now and adding extra. Because what we didn't get to see in this episode is just as important as what we did. What we didn't get to see was this guy. Prome well, we never get to see this guy because this version of Prometheus isn't what we got. This is the version of Prometheus that we got. Adrian Chase. And we didn't see him at all this episode. Until that big surprise ending. In fact, all we got was, ooh, we don't know where he is. He's been in the wind for a week. He was trained by Talia al Ghul. Well, at the end of the day, he's coming back next week, I'm sure. Because as we build through the last four episodes, there's got to be a big showdown. And there's something else. There's been another character introduced. In the comics, he was Adrian Chase. Where does Vigilante fit into all this? Well, we'll see next week where the coming attractions look like it's going to be a Felicity and Oliver episode alone. Maybe the two of them just working together to try to survive might rekindle some of that Elicity stuff. Well... Maybe, maybe not. It's probably going to be another one of those not-in-uniform episodes, because we haven't seen him to put the cowl back on. He hasn't actually been the arrow. He's still broken. But we'll see how that episode turns out. This one I liked. It was interesting, and it really punched home that theme. But as always, if you've liked my insane ramblings, or just like hearing me talk, I'd like you to like, share, and subscribe to my channel so that you can help me build this community. And of course, comment down there. Let me know what you're thinking. Because I'd like to get this community up and running into where we can talk about all of the stories we tell. I do weekly videos on every Sunday night, Monday morning. And of course, all of these reviews as long as the seasons are running. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good night.